this morning I've got a, a little dripper RDA to show you. It's by Wismac. It's the, the Indie Duo Atomizer. As you can see, it's all still sealed up in its box. This is my first look at it, so I'm really quite excited about it actually because uh, the airflow is supposed to be really good on it. Anyway, look, let's go down to the table, take a butcher's look at it. Hang about, my dears. Won't keep you but a minute. I'm putting my singing there down, you see. I can't sing without my singing there down, can I? <laughs> Have it. Off we go. I've just taken the wrapper off without uh, pressing record on the, on the machine. Never mind. Two little tabs on the side, each, each side there. Open it up. The box itself, I don't know whether you can see that or not, but there are scratches on the inside. I haven't seen any dust like, what was it, the indestructible and then the so uh, what Bambino. We've got, we got some O-rings and some grub screws by the look of it. Three grub screws, well that's fair enough. I believe that he's a uh, uh, heat resistant O-rings. You've got a 22 mil jacket. The airflow is not too bad on that actually. Right, look. now this is what I wanted to take a butcher's out. Let's take that out for a second. Yeah, I think thought so. Wismac have actually listened to other reviewers and they've included this time an Allen key. That's good. Right, that's that. I don't think there's anything else in the box. No, nope, nothing else in the box at all. Let's have a quick look at the back of the box. Indio Duo, standard configuration. No warranty card. Right, okay. Oh, I shall have a word with my friends at Totally Wicked about that. <laughs> Not that uh, I care about the warranty card, but uh, it would have been nice to have one. Here it is. Drip tip. As I said, this is my first time looking at it. And as you get the drip tip, that's a removable drip tip, obviously. Large airflow there, and a large airflow there. So we'll get into this thing. There we go. That comes off the top there. Ah, there we go. Push down on that, and that will reel the deck. Blinking, Nora. Look, there's five spaces there for wire. My. God, could you imagine the build you could put on this? Be too much for me. 22. Sits over the top like that. Goes on there. Gives you a standard RDA. Let's see if I can get this back off of here now. There we go. Yeah, that's actually that is quite a nice looking deck. Quite a nice looking deck. I probably will only put two coils at a time in this. I'm not insane. <laughs> that goes back up in the hang on a second, let's have a look at this. Oh I see. I see. You got airflow here for the top and it goes down. It mooches around inside that glass there. So it must be a double piece of glass. Yeah, and then, if I don't know if you can see that, but inside, it's, um, the air flows at the top, but it actually comes out down the bottom on both sides. That's fair enough. I suppose you've got to align those Air flows up. Well, I suppose you could turn it. I don't know if it would turn it down or whatever. Yeah, I suppose it would, really. As this stands, you can either have both open or cut the airflow down a little bit. That's what I'm assuming with this. There's no provision to actually turn off one or the other. Let's go back up to the top, and by that time, I will have uh, cooled this up. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi guys, back again. Yep, I managed to coil it. I stuck uh, a couple of vertical Clapton coils in there. They work out to about 0.4, which is fine, fine for me. And I've stuck the uh, Indio Duo on top of my roulette. I'll whack it off at 70 watts. Whoa, look at that. Wicked. Okay, so right, top cap or sleeve and top cap with the airflow and right, let's uh <laughs> let's bung this on now. Uh how did I have it before? That's right. Those bottom airflow slots on the inside there, what I'm doing is I'm lining them up with the vertical coil, put that on, then taking the top airflow and lining it up so it's fully open right now i need to put some more juice in there and i'm using beard 64 which is blue raspberry oh and hibiscus it is a very very nice flavor actually i've got some dripping there <laughs> there we go right uh let's just put some uh more juice in here there we go Bung a trip tip back on. Let's have a have a uh, a toot of this and see what. Uh... Oh yeah, very acceptable. That's uh, that's at seventy watts. Yeah, zero point four. Uh, I'm gonna bung that up a bit higher. Let's put it on eighty. Oh, this will probably make me cough. Tighten that up some more actually. Let's uh, bung it up to 90. Now, this is higher than I usually go. I never go, normally, I never go any higher than 50. Um, really depends what tank, etc., I'm using. This is working extremely well. 85, let's try that. Yeah, that's not bad. I need some more juice in there. Let's try that. Yep, that's 85. That's uh, that's working out quite well, actually. Go on, bung it up to 90. Let's see what uh, see what happens. No, that's fine. It was getting a little bit dry. I'm going to bung that up to 95. 95 watts. And this, I'm not going to go any higher than 100 with it. Um, mainly because I don't think I can handle that but uh we'll give 95 a go shall we yeah that seems to have worked go on in 100 watts there you go uh that's it 100 watts i'm gonna put some more juice in there just in case well <laughs> there we go right Actually, I like this thing. It is so, that airflow on it is so swishy. It's it's pretty, it's lovely. That's bordering on too hot for me, so I'm going to bung that right way back down. I think 80 wasn't too bad actually. There you go. Yeah, 80. I'm going to leave that on 80. I think. Yeah, that's just right for me, that is. It's not a hot, hot vape, but it's not a cool vape, which is what I actually like, you know. What we got here, let's take a look at it. Can you see, it's sort of misted up a little bit. I don't particularly like this. Well, the drip tip is fine. The drip tip is, 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 is great. I don't know if I can... <laughs> I could stick a Delrin drip tip on top of it. Being that I've stuck that Delrin drip tip on there, it takes it further away from the coils, which uh, I would imagine helps with the uh, with the airflow as it goes up the drip tip. I didn't get any juice in my mouth that time. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Highly recommended by me this one. You can get it at uh, dare I say it? No, we've got a month yet. 
because um, I'm not allowed to advertise now, or won't be after the 22nd of May. Uh, you can get these at Totally Wicked. Now, I'm totally unsure. Give me, bear with me just two seconds. There we go. Twenty-four ninety-nine, and with that, you get the O-rings, you get an Allen key, and you get the twenty-two mil sleeve to go over the top. Let's try that sleeve. Move that off of there. Where's that? That goes there like that and you can use your drip tip on top I'm gonna to put that Delrin back in there because I like that there you go doesn't look too bad sitting on top of the roulet looks all right actually you're gonna get um, splashes of juice around your, your your mod but that's indicative to a lot of uh, RDAs. Yeah, no, that's that's good. I'm going to change that back actually. Now, where did I do that before? I had the airflow on the bottom facing the coils. Right back in there like that. Oh, I've got juice on my fingers. <laughs> ah, a little bit of juice never hurt anybody. And keep a tissue in your pocket or by your computer. Yeah. Do you know, I prefer the airflow on this to just the uh, the airflow on this tube. This airflow is so swishy, it's it's good. Uh, I wonder what TW actually say about this thing. Because, to be quite honest, because I only got it hmm, about a week ago, and I only opened it up this morning, so because I've been testing other things, etc. I really don't know a great deal about this little thing. The Wismac Indie, Indie Duo RDA re uh, Rebuildable Dripping Atomizer is the latest member of J of the J-Bo series. Oh, right, so J-Bo had a hand in, in designing this. That's good. Uh, features two types of atomizer tube to accommodate a wide variety of e-cigs and mods. Easy removal of all parts for maintenance. A simple build deck along with vortex airflow design. That's why I like it. It's got a vortex airflow. The Indio Duo RDA stands out from the crowd. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. I, I will give you that because that airflow is really, really swishy. You've got as I said just now, you've got this drip tip thing. It's a conical drip tip. It's designed, apparently, to enhance the flavour of your favourite e-liquid. Well, now I'll tell you, this beard that uh, I'm using, excellent. Really, really excellent. And it, the flavour is... I, I was, I've been using it in the Hunter RDA. It tastes a little bit different. Uh, what else have they got to say? The top airflow is easy, convenient to use. It allows you to change the way your Wismac Indio, Ind, Indie Duo RDA performs with a quick twist of the airflow ring. Yeah, that's that's fine. You can close it down slightly. I turned it down to about halfway, and it. Uh, it was slightly tighter. I wouldn't say that it, it was 100% uh, tight, but, but this sits on this uh, roulet quite well. Yes, you've got a bit of an overhang on the front, but for the main part, it actually sits there. To be quite honest, I don't mind that. I don't mind. I'm not anal where having my tanks hanging over the edges, etc. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't look very nice, but in other ways... You know, otherwise I, I'm, I'm fine with it. In fact, that little overhang helps me find the button. Especially when I'm not looking at it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, there you go. Right, uh, what else have they got to say about this? There's no thread connection to attach the atomizer tubes to the build deck. The use of the black heat resistant O-rings, they are heat resistant, I thought they would be, make assembly and maintenance much easier. I would suggest actually, when uh, putting on this top cap, that uh, you smear a little juice around those O-rings. It'll help pulling it on and pushing it off a lot easier. 
Now I've pulled it off, I've got to put it back on properly. <laughs> there we go. Right, I'm going to put some more juice in this, actually. <laughs> right, so there you go, right. Let's put that back in. Oh, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, right, kit contains atomizer base, atomizer tubes, airflow re control ring, mouthpiece, seal ring, hexagonal screws, and it also says on here a warranty card. Now, I never found a warranty card in the box, so I shall have a word with my friends and uh, see what they've got to say about that. The dimensions of the uh, RDA, 30 millimetres by 36 millimetres or 22 millimetres by 36 millimetres height. Connection obviously is a 510 connection. I never looked at that 510 connection actually, it's just, yeah. I don't know whether that's brass or gold plated. But there you go. That build deck is really easy to take out of there actually. You could get some really weird builds on this. As I say, I put vertical coils in it and they're Clapton's, vertical Clapton's. So, you know, it, it works for me. Oh yeah, absolutely fabulous. I, I'm going to work this one like a death horse. When I come back to you guys with the uh, Corsa or the Cuboid uh, little one here and tell you how I'm getting on with that, I'll include this one on that video and let you know my more of my experiences with it. All right, this is Kevin from Worthing Vapours, wishing you guys a bright and pleasant day. It's not too bad out there here in Worthing. You have a good one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully there'll be many, many more, although we're totally uncertain whether I'm going to be able to carry on doing these reviews. Um, it's, I, I don't know whether it, uh, social media is included in with this TPD business or not. I don't fancy going to prison for or being fined for advertising, which is basically what I'm doing with this. I'm advertising. Yes, I'm reviewing it, but I'm telling you where you can buy it and how much it costs, etc. So there you go. Anyway, look, you have a good day. Take it easy. Vape on. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for now. Let's vape you out. You can't please all the people all the time, but we hope we'll please most of you most of the time. Anyway, see you soon.